Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to I am your host, Tyrone Bridges. Let's get it. Check. Check. Check one, check two. Welcome you. Welcome everybody. I am your host of I Thought You Knew, Tyrone Bridges. And um, I'd like to talk with you guys about an experience I had uh, yesterday. Yesterday I went to a campaign party. Just getting my screens and everything set up. Comment if you like. Comment if you like. And uh, I had went down and parked down in Depot Town, and I walked down the sidewalk and bumped into uh, Mr. Lee Tucson, my cousin, and also uh, Billy Salome. Billy Salome, if y'all don't know him, uh, he is the owner of Wall Street uh, Towing, Wall Street Towing over there on Railroad Street, the address on Railroad Street. 876 Railroad Street. And uh, the man said something that insulted me. Um, I'm just going to put it on the floor. I'm going to speak my truth. And y'all know I always have my receipts. Um, I walked up, spoke to Mr. Tucson. Then I spoke to Mr. Billy Salome. And he said to something to the effect of Tyrone. Who you up here to rob? So I'm like, wait a minute. And I said, don't you ever address me like that. Then I walked away and it was on my heart. Like, what the hell did he mean? What did he mean by that? As I go into the, the building and I bumped into uh, a few other people that I came to see that been on my mind all, all night long. So, real quick, this morning I thought about it and I made several calls to several people, reached out to them and talked to them about what should I do about this situation. Uh, told them exactly what's happening and wh what he said. And uh, several people said, you should air your truth out there. Because uh, a lot of people don't look at you like that. And for whatever worth, whatever it was worth, Whatever that man met, he need to come to the table and talk to the public about what's going on. Um, Y'all know I bring receipts. Um, I talked to Mr. Tucson about it in depth and um, asked him what should I, you know, you know, I, I, I told him how angry I was at what he said. And mind you, this man is, he's a, he's a, He's the Washtenaw County contractor. He's the public towing for, for Washtenaw County. He has the contracts to do all the towing, budget towing, Wall Street towing, over there on Railroad, Railroad Street. And uh, for a county contractor or someone works in the city, of Ypsilanti or work within the boundaries of Washtenaw County. Somebody need to call this man to the, to the carpet and uh, ask him what he meant. And I do believe accountability. Because we get on this show, we bring politicians on this show. We be, bring people that's running for judge on the show. We bring people, literally people to come on this show and talk to them about, talk to us about missing children for a guy, a privileged guy, an Arab, Middle Eastern sent, a man of Middle Eastern descent to say something like that to me. To me, is it, it, it hurts my soul because we both minorities. We are both minorities, but he's not a minority that's, that's 
that's losing anything because he got all the contracts. He got all the contracts, all the county contracts. So I want to let y'all know, I'm going to put the information of this man's business, his business information. His, y'all give him a call. Also, I'm going to give a call to uh, a few other county commissioners. The county, I'm going to talk to some other people about, is this what we do? Is this the type of people that the county do contracts with? And for this man to say what he said, and after being encouraged to call me by Mr. Tucson and give a half-half apology after he hear how painful it was to me, that's unacceptable. That's almost like carrying somebody's lunch pail. I don't do that. So you ex-felons, black ex-felons, that's out on the streets, people that's in our community leadership, ask yourself, should a man that is a business owner in Ypsilanti doing contracts, got all the contracts locked down on the towing with Washtenaw County. Should he be able to address our citizens like that? Period. Period. Should he be able to address our citizens like that? So the onus is on everybody right now your public officials, this right here. I got more information I want to bring forward to you. Also, we're going to talk a little later on the show this week, next week, about the reason we will not support the politicians that's in office, that's been in office for years. They allow stuff like this to happen. Naming Ricky Jefferson. This is one of Ricky Jefferson's close, close friends. I bring my receipts to everything I talk about. So, for anybody who want to doubt that this man don't know who I am, this man don't know my existence, this man don't know what I do, and for him to make that statement against me, insult me in public, in front of my family, in front of my mama's cousin and don't think that I'm gonna speak up or do anything or say anything else about it. He must say, test my bloodline. So, for those who wanna know what this had to do with Mr. Jefferson, remember, I was a human relations commissioner. for the city of Ipsy. We're gonna speak more about this later in depth with receipts. This man right here is connected with them old politicians. That's how he know me. And for those who didn't know what happened, I'm going to share something with you. He called me. So I had to share this because I was in the lab preparing for the show. And uh, here's my receipts. Listen. Obviously. 
Muslim brothers that I talked to this morning. Do you not know what you said has burnt my soul and it has caused a fire that's probably irreplaceable, bro? That right there burnt my soul. In this day and age, whether you, you see yourself as a minority or not, Receipts in hand. You see, when I get offended, I don't play the angry black man card. I put it on the floor. If you're wrong, you're wrong. This man is totally wrong. Out of box. Out of pocket. See, I'm still heated. I may not look like it. I'm giving that same expression that I gave him last night. I don't do games, partner. This ain't the last word. Understand. When I told you you offended me, you better know I'm coming. But I'm going to come the correct way. I am a black man. I'm proud of it. But you as a Muslim, a so-called Muslim, that you call yourself talking down on me like you do. The public may not can do nothing, but these politicians that come on this show that has something to do with your job Or the ones that don't come on the show, I'm going to give them a call. And I'm going to see what we could do. So if anybody doubt me when I'm out here in public trying to do the right thing and I encounter this type of skullduggery, I don't have to reply like the angry black man. I got dignity. But for this dude, this guy, to say what he said to me, I got receipts, I'm hurt, and I'm a damn well let you know how bad it hurts. This is Tyrone Bridges. This is a guarantee what I thought you knew. Peace.